Well, hello everyone and welcome back to DEP TV. This is the second video of 2021. Thank you very much for coming back. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. After you've hit the subscribe button, if you wouldn't mind, hit the bell button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Brilliant. Thank you very, very much, guys. So, thank you very much for coming back. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about labelling. Different types of labelling. Different things that people put onto labels. Why they use different fonts and different colours. And everything in between. So, without further ado, let's get to it. So what do I mean when I say we're going to talk about the labelling? Really, um, I just want to point out some certain things on the labelling that everyone should be looking at and reading, uh, just to make sure you understand what it is that you're dealing with. A lot of the products that we use can be flammable, can be corrosive, and can be harmful to the marine environment. If any of the products that you're using are any of these things, either flammable, corrosive, or harmful to marine life, then it will be somewhere on the bottle. It has to be by law. Um, now, most of the time, I'm not saying 100% of the time, I'm not a chemist, but most of the time, they'll be on the bottle for the product if it's neat. So, APX, all-purpose cleaner here, this has a corrosive sign on it. Now, this, the corrosive sign on this bottle is quite small, yet it is in a red diamond. Um, I'll put it up and see if you can see it. There. I will put a graphic up on the, um, on the screen anyway uh, to say that that is the corrosive sign. But that is mainly for when it is neat. Now, this product is an infinity wax product. It is generally made at five to one or 10 to one. So it's highly dilutable. That's not to say that it is not corrosive if you get it on your skin. Whenever you're dealing with detailing chemicals, whether it be all-purpose cleaner, whether it be Popper Rain from Autobrite Direct, uh, what's that one? Magifoam. Whenever you're using chemicals for anything, always wear gloves you can get latex gloves you can get non-latex gloves you can get powdered gloves non-powdered gloves you can get seal skin gloves you can get all types of different gloves but please wear gloves if you don't you run the risk of getting uh, eczema um, psoriasis all these different things that you can get from these chemicals if they're on your skin for any length of time. I used to suffer really bad, um, with really bad eczema, 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 wherever you are in the country, you call it different things. And it used to go right up here. Um, and that was my fault for not wearing gloves sometimes. Um, this one, this one's got quite a few on it actually, <laughs> but this is isopropyl alcohol. This is flammable, uh, harmful if ingested, uh, harmful to marine life and an exclamation mark which means it's just 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 dangerous really I'll put that up there see if you can see it there you go what you will notice is any of these products that have a warning on them the warning is in a red diamond to draw your attention to it to say this is the danger with this product um, let's find another one they're all more or less the same as this one so this is liquefied tar and glue remover there you go it has the danger symbol on it and it also has corrosive on it so these are the danger signs that you're going to get on your detailing products most of the time at least you're going to have corrosive most of the time but sometimes you will get flammable it just depends what it, what it is you're using uh, what's this? This is Diamond Vision from Infinity Wax. 
and this is just that's just got the warning symbol on it so it's just it's just dangerous in general to be perfectly honest so always read the labels guys always read these labels now the other thing about these labels is they have to be easily read um, that is why people like Infinity Wax, Auto Bright, um, that's Elf Oil over there, Makita. It's always contrasting colours. It gets a bit more difficult when you get towards these, but we're going to those in a wee minute, because that's clear. So, they've always, you will always get a contrasting colour. So if you have a white bottle, or a clear bottle with a cloudy liquid, nine times out of ten, your labelling is going to be Black, black lettering with font with a, a nice easy to read font usually it'll be the same font as what the company logo is but it's always going to be contrasting colour I don't know if you can see that one there this one's a little bit more harder to read um, because it's a, a kind of pink and blue colour uh, with the white writing but if it wasn't for the outlining red bits on the actual bit here then it would be quite difficult to read in my opinion um, it's just the way the, the designers went with the colours because they're tr trying to put on the purple um, for purple rain. Um, why they've got Kit, the A-Team van and the DeLorean from Back to the Future on it, I will never know. I have no idea what that's to do with purple rain. But anyway, um, <laughs> but yeah, the, the lettering will always be in a contrasting kind of colour uh, or at least with an outline that contrasts. So that's that one. Again, so this is a white bottle with dark writing. This is a white bottle with a dark label, so it has light writing. You'll find lots and lots of different information on all these bottles, but for now we're just going to talk about the uh, the writing. So it will always contrast to, to draw your attention to it. Same with this one dark writing on a white label just makes it easier to read and the font will generally have to be an easy read font as well just so you can understand it so we've covered the contrast in the letters on the bottles just let me address this one this is clear liquid with a clear bottle with a clear label now this is either going to go two ways. This is either going to be black writing or white writing. For this product anyway. Um, I don't think personally they could have done the whole instructions in this grey colour. Because it would blend in too much. Um, but it's difficult. It's difficult with clear on clear. Um, because you can use any colour you want. And it's going to stand out. But you want to keep it with your current design so this wouldn't look right with a bright red instruction manual or a bright red ingredients it just wouldn't look right it has to also be aesthetically right for the company that are selling these things i don't specifically agree or disagree with this one because it is really hard to read the letters on the side for the instructions and how to use and things like that but I can see why it is in those colours. Um, I don't know if another colour would have looked any better. Maybe a light grey or something. Maybe it might have worked better on that. Uh, to keep in with the the name and the design. Um, I mean, the, the bit that says Diamond Vision on here. I don't, it's really hard to pick this up. But where it says Diamond Vision on the label, it's really easy to read. But the black bits do seem to all merge together. So... If it's getting a wee bit duller during the day or if you don't have bright sunlight, you're not going to be able to read that properly, I don't think. Like I say, guys, this is just my opinion. Um, some people might say, oh, that's absolutely fine. I can read it perfect. Well done. Just different people have different eyesight variants and how they see things. So, again with Liquify, um, the tar and glue bit, every to everywhere it says tar and glue on the label, it's it's very 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 legible straight away but the black duff, the black writing does seem to kind of disappear into the label a little bit so the information you find in a bottle so 
isopropyl alcohol for, for instance it's got a list of the ingredients that are in it you'll always have an ingredients list on any bottle whether it be magi foam whether it be purple rain whether it be apx liquify diamond vision you will always have an ingredients list mainly the harmful ingredients because a lot of these companies do want to keep their formulations secret uh, and some of the things that go into them secret as long as they're not harmful and we don't need to know about it they don't have to put them on as far as i'm led to believe um, so they'll have that you'll have the name of the company you will have the product name and you will have an ingredients part section to the label then you will more than likely on stuff like this not so much this because that's slightly different but on stuff like this you will have a how to use so that one there has got a how to use on there that one's got a how to use on there that one has a how to use under the instructions on there so they all come with a how to use section even things like the liquify tar and glue um, there we go how to use it's on there so you'll always have a how to section there will also be a barcode on each one of these for for the point of sale for wherever it is you're buying it from so the other thing you're going to have on the label is you're going to have the amount of liquid or the amount of product that is in the bottle right so this is a 500 ml bottle and it has a 500 ml sticker on it to say it has a 500 ml thing in it now this has a 500 ml sticker on it this is because i bought this sticker separate I, this didn't come from the factory with the sticker on. This came as a clear, empty bottle. I bought the sticker separate, so I didn't have to write on it with things. Um, and the only stickers that they had in stock at the time was a 500ml sticker. Um, so it, they do come with a, what's this, 946 nine, maximum. So you'd probably get a 900ml sticker off Infinity Wax if you wanted one, if they had them in stock, that is. They probably do now, I don't know. Um, this one again, 500ml. This one should say one litre somewhere on it, but I can't find it. Yeah, there it's there. One litre. So it will always have the amount of liquid that is in the product when it's sold. This is one litre of isopropyl alcohol. It's amazing that that bottle and that bottle hold the same amount of stuff. They're just designed in a totally different way. There, you can stack them up higher. These really have to sit side by side. That type of thing. So yeah, so every bottle will also have how many milliliters are in it. Unless it's over a litre. And then it'll be one litre, 1 1.5, 2. That type of thing. And the big five ones, as you can see there. Oh, I can get it off. This is an old bottle of pure shampoo that I had. And you'll see it there. Five litres just underneath the barcode there. So why do companies put labels on bottles? Well, it's so we know what we're buying. Uh, <laughs> basically, it's so we know what we're buying and they have a legal obligation to let us know if there is anything dangerous in the bottle that may harm you while you're using it. Or even for somebody walking about the shop, if they spill it on the floor, uh, then the shopkeeper can see the bottle and say, oh, right, okay, that's that, that's that. So for talking sake, for talking sake, actually, this. This is harmful to the marine environment, okay? So because that is harmful for the marine environment, if that got spilt in a shop, they couldn't just mop it up and put it down the drain. It would have to get disposed of in a certain way. Um, so that's why everything is, is labelled, so we know what we're buying, uh, and they have a legal, legal obligation to let us know what is in it, the amount that's in it, what dangers there are in it, um, all that type of stuff. So there you go guys, there you have it. That is why, and that is what is generally on every single bottle of product that you buy, whether it be a 500ml bottle, 
a one litre bottle or a five litre bottle or even a 25 litre bottle. They will all have the same information on and they will also have information of how you can get in contact with the company and where you can get your data sheets from which you may need. Speaking of which, if you want to contact us, you can leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Uh, like I say before, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to send us any, DM, any DMs, feel free to look us up on Facebook, search for DEP TV. On Instagram is DEP TV official. Or you could give us an email at youtube at deptv.co.uk. Thanks again for watching everyone. You keep, you keep coming by, you keep giving uh, thumbs up and you keep leaving comments. Thank you very much. Um, I don't reply to all comments because as has been known very recently on different and other YouTube channels, there are an awful lot of trolls about at the moment. Um, but if it's, if it's a sensible question, um, if, it's, if it's not trying to invoke a reaction, um, and if it's not trying to provoke me or anybody that works for me, then I will try my best to reply with the best answer that I can. Thank you very much for watching everyone and I will see you all in the next video. Time to go.